Now that we talked about sharpen, which is basically a just advanced marker of edges of a particular angle, let's talk about C sharp. C sharp is also attached to sharpen and we see that it's the control click behavior. Basically, in order to calculate sharps, modifiers must be applied and that is where C sharp comes in. C sharp will basically apply the modifiers and then calculate the sharpening information, resulting in a very rapid workflow of destructive modeling with a little bit of non-destructive adjustment. To show this in action, we'll just take our shape here and you know we'll just bevel this edge and shift A, bring in a cube, and we could just bring this cube in. And I'll tap into edit mode, grab this edge, bevel it, select these two shapes, press Q. And let's say we wanted to actually select mark our sharps for this. If we press Q and we mark sharps, you can see that the sharps are marked for this, but they didn't get marked for the Boolean area because there is no toggle for us to see that modifier in edit mode. So the only way to get past this is to control click sharpen, which will apply it. Notice that the Boolean was also removed due to me having the control tilde option of remove cutters on C sharp on. But now we are able to apply the Boolean and also mark those edges at the same time, basically updating the meshes information. So this workflow harkens back to the classic C sharp workflow of bevel weight that we used back in 7.9, where let's say we added a bevel, but we press L to give it the limit method of weight, which looks almost exactly the same, except this means that now whenever we work, uh, the bevel will not update immediately on the new cut. So we can just cut a difference in here. We have this basically automatically separated out as far as its integration with the surface until we control click sharpen and actually update that information by integrating it into the actual shape. So this is kind of a very nice touch and go modeling style that we came up with a long time ago to just um, provide a hard surface workflow for Blender that was um, streamlined, but also uh, a somewhat linear path. So while weight has its uses, it's definitely something that we aren't using as much as we used to, but still does have very much an interesting place in Blender. In fact, we will control click this and we now have this area being integrated into the form. Let's say that we wanted to uh, control the bevel weight of just this area. So we'll press Q and we'll increase the bevel, but we want to lower the bevel weight of just this region. So we can actually go under select and choose select boundary loop. And we can go under mark, which is also a multi-tool. And notice that alt clicking it will allow us to adjust the bevel weight. So just rolling the mouse in, we can make the bevel weight influence of this area something like 0.3 and we see that this is actually helping it have a much sharper connection. However, this random edge here will not do. So to solve that, the easiest way to go about it is to just select these two areas and we'll just shift H hide that. And I'm just gonna look at this from the side, shift A add a plane and use the F9 to align it to view. And we'll just use a little bit of knife project here. I don't know why this window's up and we will just shift click to knife project. And if we go back into edit mode, we see that we only modified the area that was visible in edit mode, allowing us to just not disrupt anything around it and really just kind of clean this area up. Usually if I see that an area like uh, these two verts is just very close to solving, it's easier to just get in there and actually solve it. But being able to work destructively and solve geometry as you go is key towards keeping your model in a near finished state versus working with modifiers and being at the mercy of welds and bevel angles to actually get everything in line. Working this way will give you a lot more control, but it's definitely something that isn't as talked about as it used to be. But definitely when it comes to models that are not cubes, C sharp is definitely the workflow that I fall back to the most. So we can select both of these, control click, sharpen in order to see sharp it, notice that it updates immediately. It's a very nice, very stepped procedural workflow whenever you begin to experiment with it for yourself. But this does separate you from the workflow of stacking bevels and things like that. Uh, it is a very different way of working. So notice that my stack pretty much only contains the weight and that I'm just, you know, I can still mirror and do the things I would normally do. But when it comes to the modifiers that are kept live, 
it is a little bit more of a deliberative process as far as which modifiers I want to keep live and for what reason. For example, I have this difference here and we have it already placed in our stack, but there is no need for me to stack another bevel on top of this. So more than likely, the next step in order to further integrate this and continue on with my model is to control click sharpen and just send this on its way.